What's going on guys, my name is Tom from Dread Labs and today I'm going to be showing you how to make these graphics in Adobe Illustrator. Dread Labs. So, it's been a while since I recorded a video. Uh, I've been busy with all the Creatober time lapses and some freelance work in between. Um, so yeah, it's probably been over a month since I recorded anything on my uh, computer. Uh, anyway, let's just uh, get to the video and I'll show you how to do these. So the first one um, is quite easy, frankly. Uh, what you want to do is, let's just make a new layer in here so uh, everything will be uh, nice and tidy. So get your rectangle tool ready and make sure that your stroke is uh, applied and you don't have a fill. And let's just make the stroke 20 points. And from the center, uh, while holding all or option and shift, uh, we'll create a rectangle. So um, with this rectangle, what you want to do is, let's just change the layer color for uh, real quick. All right, so uh, now you can see the anchor points in here. Uh, let's just go to Object, Path, and Add Anchor Points. And if we go from our Selection Tool to our Direct Selection Tool, you'll start to see that they're actually are starting to get more points into the shape. So let's just do that some more. Go to Object, Path, Add Anchor Points. And let's just do it one more time. And now you can see that all these anchor points have appeared. And which means that we can change these around freely. So what you want to do is while holding your mouse, go over these and then skip uh, to anchor points, while holding shift uh, while selecting these. And you'll be selecting every other anchor point um, in this whole grid like this. Right. Uh, so what you want to do now is you go to the Scale tool, which is here, or you can just press S on your keyboard. And while dragging this in, while holding Shift, we'll create you this cool, like, comic book shape, I guess. And now that we, with all these uh, anchor points selected, go to your Direct Selection tool again. While holding Shift, go over everything, which basically inverses the selection. Uh, and now you can drag these in and round them up however you please. Uh, one more thing, uh, because now the outsides are rounded and the insides are not, so just select the shape and go to your stroke. And make sure that the corners are a round join, which gives you this shape. Okay, on to the next one, which is a smiley. Uh, start by going creating an ellipse with a stroke. Uh, let's just do one with 20 points again. And have it like this. Let's just make it a nice 500 by 500. All right, so uh, a way to create this like big smile uh, in a quick way is selecting this, the object, path, offset path, and go in wherever you would like to have your smiley. I did this before and I think 80 pixels for this is fine. Click OK. And depending on how wide you want the smile to be, uh, I just want to have it uh, at 50% height. Uh, go to your direct selection tool by pressing A on your keyboard. Click the top anchor point here and delete it, which gives you this smile already. Uh, and if we go to our stroke menu, uh, make sure that the caps are rounded. I like it this way. And you have your smile already. And now it's just a point of creating a nice uh, ellipse for the eyes and make it a fill instead of a stroke. Posi position it where you want it. Uh, I think somewhere like here. Uh, then we grab our reflect tool by pressing O on our keyboard. And with our uh, eye selected, click once on this anchor point on the top here, and then hold, while holding Alt or Option, click on the one in the bottom, which will create a copy along this axis. And there we have a smiley, quick and easy. Okay, now we're gonna do this uh, recycling logo. So you wanna go to uh, grab your polygon tool here, and while holding it, uh, if this is uh, more than, uh, let's say if this is four, five or six points, uh, with the arrow keys up and down, you can uh, make sure that you have three points here. And while holding, shi uh, while holding shift and pressing X, you will switch your fill to uh, your stroke. And let's just up the stroke by, let's say, 70. And round the corners. All right. So now we're going to use the same way that we used uh, with this shape. Uh, we're going to add some anchor points in here so we can delete them later. Uh, so go to Object, 
path at anchor points. And uh, as you can kind of see now, uh, I have a shortcut selected here. You can do this by uh, going to edit and then um, keyboard shortcuts. I'll do a video on this in the future. Uh, anyway, uh, so I'm just gonna go press Command 4 uh, to increase the amount of uh, points here we have. It's a bit quicker, uh, like this. Okay, uh, let's just reduce the stroke by 10 points, like this. Um, okay, so what I wanna do now is I wanna grab this point here. So one off from the uh, end here, uh, and that's this one and this one as well and just delete them. And we already have our shape here uh, selected, but we need some arrows. And a nice quick way to can do this in Illustrator, if you go to the stroke menu, and you can see arrow heads in here. Let's just click one. Um, let's just do this one. Uh, it's really, really big right now because of the stroke, but you can reduce the scale by clicking here. I'm holding shift while clicking, so it's uh, going down by 10% each uh, click. And with 20%, I think we're good. Yeah, this one has a different arrow, but yeah, you can experiment with this. Uh, if you want something completely different, um, let's just say, I don't know, this one. I like this one better. Uh, anyway, on to the globes. So the first one, um, we're gonna use the first one uh, also to create the second one. So bear with me while I do this one. Uh, you're gonna cre create an ellipse and reduce the stroke to about like I'd say 20. So make sure that this is centered to your artboard. And if you don't know, you can align to artboard here and then click the align buttons. And while uh, pressing Command C to copy it, press Command F to paste a copy on top. So now we have two ellipses in the same position. And if you go to properties. Um, well, let's just delete this for a second and make sure that our first circle is 500 pixels by 500 pixels. Uh, just a bit easier for ourselves. Uh, anyway, uh, copy, press Command F. It will paste it in place on top of it. And make sure that this uh, chain uh, is deselected. So there's a uh, stripe going through it. And let's just do a width of, I don't know, 400. Hmm. Yeah, we could do that. Okay, so uh, when you press Command C and Command F again, uh, we have another copy at the top. And let's just make this 300 pixels. And press on Command C and Command F, and make this one 200 pixels. And I think that's a bit too much, so let's just delete this one. So now we're gonna grab our pen tool uh, by pressing P or clicking here and click here and make a straight line across to the other anchor point and do the same thing uh, vertically so now we kind of have the base of our globe already uh, the last thing that we want to do is uh, grab our ellipse tool again and create an ellipse uh, to make the last line here and uh, let's just go with this make sure that we align this uh, to our shape and let's just move it down a little bit. Um, yeah, I think like this would be fine. Okay, then we select our ellipse. And we grab the reflect tool again by pressing O on our keyboard. And click once on this anchor point and then hold Alt or Option. And we'll click on the second anchor point. And now we're gonna select all of this. Go to our shape builder tool. And while holding other option, go over this one and over this one, and you'll be left with this globe. Uh, and so for the last one, uh, it's a bit easy to do. Um, so let's just copy this one, click on our next artboard, and press Command F to paste it in place. Uh, let's just make it a bit wider, and when holding other option, it will stay in place. And what I want to do now is uh, I'm going to grab my ellipse tool, and while holding Alt or Option and Shift. And let's just drag this in so we'll be aligned with the first uh, ellipse in here. And easy enough, select everything again, go to our shape builder tool, and delete everything in between. And if there are still some lines left in here, you can just go with your direct selection tool and delete these from here. 
So uh, now you can put anything in between. Let's just do uh, a smiley for this one. So let's just copy this one and let's paste it. And to make sure that we don't scale or uh, ruin every uh, width of this line, I guess, uh, let's just go to object, path, outline stroke. And if we scale this down now, the width of these lines uh, will scale with it. Uh, in other words, if you want to do this uh, a bit differently, so uh, we have our uh, lines now uh, and they're still strokes. Uh, you want to press Command or Control uh, with comma, which will open up your preferences. And if you go to General, check this box, which is called Scale Stroke and Effects. And if we rescale it now, while well, we still have a stroke, um, the lines will scale uh, along with it. Uh, so yeah, guys, there you have it. I uh, hope you learned something today or feel inspired to do something cool. Sorry for the bad lighting. The sun is shining really bright right now. So uh, uh, yeah, my room isn't really lit up well, very well right now. If you have any suggestion for a tutorial, please leave them down in the comments or join us on Discord. And I want to take this moment to take a special thank you for all my patrons uh, that have been joining me. Um, if you don't know, uh, the project file for this video and every other tutorial that I do uh, will be available er for everyone on Patreon. Uh, so if you become a patron, you can just browse through all my proje project files and um, learn something from it. Um, so yeah, shout out to my patrons. Uh, thank you so much for supporting me and uh, helping me to keep up with this channel and uh, hopefully making me able to do this full time. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.